like a pregnant shawarma sandwich. It's so big and loaded. But I would have it no other way. It's so good. Today I'm gonna show you how to assemble a freaking awesome shawarma sandwich. Complete with all the fixing, the sauces, the spices, you're gonna love it. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you're new here, subscribe and follow this channel for delicious videos every single week. Now let's get to it. What kind of meat do you use for beef shawarma? Not a very expensive cut right here, you guys. We are going with flap steak. You can use skirt steak flap, it's a little bit more tender. This is really basically the meat you would use for a stir fry or something of that nature. And you don't want to spend so much money because the star ingredients for beef shawarma is the spice mixture. Grab a big bowl because essentially what you wanna do is infuse your meat with a ton of good flavor. So we're gonna do a bit of marinating, a marinating action. We're gonna start with the shawarma spice mixture. I've got all of these beautiful Middle Eastern warm spices. We're gonna dump them all in here and make the mixture. We're gonna start with some ground coriander, a good teaspoon here. So they do sell shawarma spice mixtures out there, but you can also mix your own, which is what I'm doing here today. We're gonna do cumin, a teaspoon. We're gonna do Spanish paprika. This adds some good depth. This is gonna be flavor party, you guys. A little bit of turmeric, about three quarter teaspoon or so. Oh, turmeric is so good. And then we have a little pinch of cinnamon, about a half a teaspoon and a little pinch of ground cloves. If you don't mind a little bit of a kick, some cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna go very light on that. This right here, my friends, is your very own homemade beef shawarma spice mixture. From here, we're gonna add to it some liquid because we're trying to make a marinade. A quarter cup of some good extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're gonna have some white wine vinegar. We're gonna add it right here. One lemon, zested first and then juiced. Mm. Good things happening right here, you guys. A very lemony situation. You've got a real good balance of like the citrus and all the warm Middle Eastern flavors. Thank you for coming. We're gonna mix these all up together. Now that we've got our marinade, we're gonna work on cutting up that flap steak. What you wanna do is cut against the grain. The grain is this way, it's diagonal. And what you wanna do to cut against the grain is go this way, right? So, and this is not a very expensive cut of meat, so it can be a bit chewy. So cutting against the grain helps. Uh, because it's very long and I want kind of bite-sized pieces, I'm gonna go down here first and just cut it in half with the grain, that's fine for this cut. And then now I'm gonna cut against the grain. Okay, so simply just kind of slice very thin slices. All right, so if you were to buy beef shawarma at a Middle Eastern joint, you would probably buy it off the spit. They have a long spit with the meat roasting all day long, good things are happening, and they shave off the meat right you know, off the spit. So it's really thinly sliced, and that's why we're cutting it this way. Okay, so we've got our meat cut up in bite-sized pieces. We're gonna go back in the bowl, you guys, back in the bowl. Now, if you have the time, I would highly recommend putting the meat in the fridge for a couple hours to marinate. But if not, even a few minutes while you kind of get the stove heating is all you need. Couple more things here, you guys. A good pinch of kosher salt, black pepper. You know I used to use a pepper grinder, David. Remember those days? But I'm over it, I'm over the grinder. Okay, garlic, fresh garlic and one onion sliced. I'm telling you, flavor party going on right here. So, we're gonna give this a good mix. You want all the bites to get all the goodness of this marinade and the shawarma spices, oh. 
It smells so good. The shawarma spices and the meat are one at this point in time. <laughs> you have done your job if that is the case. So we're just gonna leave it for maybe 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna throw it on the stove and put together some mean pita sandwiches with this beautiful shawarma. Ton ton ton! Bon, bon, bon. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready to heat it up to high heat. I like a cast iron for this because I like to get the meat quickly cooked. Um, so yeah, you just need you a big skillet or pan to do this job. So much flavor. See that sizzle? Okay, your pan is ready. And if you have to do this in batches, if you don't have a big enough skillet or whatever, that's fine too. Now the meat's gonna start releasing some juices, which is great. It's gonna be so tender. You're gonna let the meat cook, release some juices, about eight to 10 minutes or so. You're gonna wanna kind of like flip it over when you need to, to get it cooked on the other side, but it can do its thing for a minute. So let's go over there and make some fixings to go in our shawarma pita sandwiches. What goes in a beef shawarma pita sandwich? So obviously I've got some pitas, ta-da. I'm gonna show you how I deal with that. But first, I'm gonna make my lazy three ingredient Mediterranean salad. I have a whole video on this one, but since we have a minute, I'm gonna make some. So it's basically cucumbers, tomatoes, and parsley, and then we jazz that up with some olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper, that kind of thing. By the way, these are English cucumbers. So they're seedless for the most part. No chefy skills necessary to cut up a tomato, I'm saying. Let's give it a quick pinch of kosher salt, quick pinch of black pepper. I'm telling you, lazy Mediterranean salad, three ingredients. You can look that video up too if you want. And a little bit of tangy sumac. I love sumac in my salad. A good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of lemon juice, that's it. Oh, good things, good things, good things. Yeah. You want some of the juices to kind of disappear too, so. Let's leave it for a second more. I'm gonna show you how to warm up your pitas because that is so important. Medium heat is okay. Grab your pita. And this is how my dad taught me to warm it. Just right here on the stove top. Super easy. When you warm it up, it's easier to open up and use, you know, to hold all the goodness. So that's why. Oh, good things, you guys. Oh, this took about a good 10 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer if you want to get some char like I have here. And some of the onions caramelized beautifully. This is the money shot, as they say, is putting together a mean shawarma sandwich. First of all, tahini sauce. Look this up on my channel here, how to make tahini sauce. Lemon and garlic tahini sauce right here. We've got our three ingredient Mediterranean salad. We're gonna mix this up. Cut your pitas in half. And see, since we warmed them up, it's easier to open your pita up like so, and this makes the perfect pocket. Like seriously load up on the shawarma right here. Salad. It is not a shawarma sandwich without the freaking awesome tahini sauce. Look at this goodness. Oh my gosh. Like I said, don't forget to check out my tahini sauce and the three ingredient Mediterranean salad to go with your shawarma. Grab the recipe for beef shawarma sandwiches over on the mediterraneandish.com. I will see you later, ciao. I'm about to eat a very pregnant shawarma sandwich and I'm so excited.